Hey guys, Chris Murphy here. Welcome today to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to put an emulator into your TI Inspire calculator. Alright, this claim go on. And so now we get to the actual tutorial. So first go to this website, education.ti.com slash go slash 33. This link will be in the description below. Go to this website. Alright, and you'll be brought to this web page. So in this web page, select your country, wherever you're from, and this will download an MSI file, which is basically an EXE file, for you to install a software. This software is the TI Inspire student software, which allows you to send files between your computer and your calculator. So now, once that's downloaded, go to this, uh, sorry, go to Endless, sorry, go to this link over here, and click Download. This is the link will, of course, be in the description below. Next, go to the other link, and click download and go to the last link and guess what click download so original yeah so basically go to these three links and click download now once you've downloaded all this you should see this these files inside your computer put them to a nice little folder but there will be a lot of other messy things later um you should see everything here in gpsp inspire endless and gbc the only things you won't see are the gpsp bios and yeah basically that's it so now once you've downloaded that, go and run the software. So once you've downloaded the, the MSI file and you've installed the soft software, go run the software. So while the software is like up, you want, you want to take your USB cable that came with the calculator and plug your calculator into the computer. So once the calculator has been plugged in, you'll see below it says connected handouts. And under connected handouts, you should see a calculator. My calculator is the TI Inspire CX. So just double click on the calculator and it should open up. Inside, you see a couple of files here which we should not worry about right now. Now, you might have noticed that there's this thing that says check for handheld OS update. Basically, it's a new OS for a calculator. However, this OS is the 3.2 OS which is not supported by Endless. And I'll explain to you what this is about. So for now, just click close. All right. And so once you've closed your once you've closed uh, th this, go back to your calculator, the handouts over here, and create a new folder. Just click new folder and call it endless. As you can see, I've already have an endless folder over here, so I will not be creating a new one. All right, so endless. Now um, go back to the folder where you have all your different files and unzip the endless file. Unzipping the endless file should give you an endless v3.1 beta blah blah blah. Alright, minimize that window and go back here. Now in computer, you should see TI Inspire. As in, okay, find, uh, as in, in the computer window over here, go and find the folder, not that difficult, just go to documents or wherever you saved it and go TNI Inspire and TNI Inspire. Inside, to, uh, whatever folder you have, go to the endless beta calculator bin and you should see a couple of installers here and two files. Endlessresources.tns and endless.cfg.tns. You have to copy these two files into your endless folder over here. Now, once you've copied these two files into your endless folder, on your calculator, you should see um, this pop up that says, Oh, a file has been copied. Remember, this is of utmost importance. You must close that window. Make sure you close that pop up on your calculator once it has been copied. Now, here's a confusing bit. Once you have um, once you have installed all this, uh, sorry, once you have copied the files over, you have to install a sub OS into your calculator. To do that, you first have to check what your calculator is. Calculator is. Um, so my calculator is the CX. So for CX, I would use the file TCO. Now at this point in time, then there will be a, a pop up here which will show you like for what calculator, which file extension you use. But for now, I will use the TCO. So right click as so because my calculator is CX, I use TCO. Please don't follow. Uh, follow the pop-up here, which will tell you what version, as in what file extension to use for your calculator version. Now right-click here and click Install Handheld Slash Lab Cradle OS. Alright, so click Install, and it asks you to select the handheld OS. So go back to your folder where you saw uh, right here Endless Copy Bin, and once again choose the appropriate file extension. As you can see, TSCO, and click Install OS. Blah blah blah. Click. Alright, so as you can see, it'll start installing. Now this installation here might will probably not go through, there'll probably be an error. However, on your calculator, you should see it says Endless successfully updated, the device will now reboot. Click OK, and your calculator reboot. As you can see, an error will pop up, and then the story fine. Just click OK, and yeah, move on with it. <coughs> Meanwhile, your calculator should be rebooting 
on the other side. Now waiting for the calculator to reboot, go back to the files over here, and you want to unzip the rest of it, unzip gbc.tns, unzip this, yeah, and, un and unzip the rest of it. So you can see once your calculator has rebooted, it should once again appear here. Now you have to create a folder called VOMS or whatever you name it and open it up. In this folder, oh wait, now this is quite confusing, let me just delete everything here. Yes. In this folder right now, you want to go back up to to Inspire. And now you have to copy GBC for Inspire over. Copy GB, GPSP Launcher, GPSP Resources, and GameConfig.txt.tns into Calculator. Right, and so um, okay, finally, so now you have the two em the two emulators into your calculator, and you click OK when the pop up comes on your calculator. However, the issue is this: GPC uh, Game Boy, the Game Boy Color emulator can run perfectly well without anything else. However, <coughs> the Game Boy emulator requires BIOS, um, requires BIOS to run. So uh, I'll be putting up a link for this BIOS into the description. So go download this BIOS folder once again and uh, extract it. When you go back here into the calculator menu, you uh, into the calculator, you would see the BIOS appear. However, if you try to copy into your calculator, it would say that only TNS files may be sent to the handheld. So what you do is just go back to this, right, and click rename, and after bin, type in dot TNS, and click yes. Now um, refresh this, and you should be able to co copy the BIOS file into your calculator without any issues. Next, to play the uh, to play games, obviously you need ROMs. Right, uh, so ROMs can be downloaded from places in the internet. Now, downloading ROMs are illegal, but you didn't buy the game, so you need to have the actual cartridge before you can download the ROM, legally speaking. So I'm not gonna go beyond that point. So just make sure you have the the cartridge before you download the ROMs. Just saying. So once you download the ROMs from any website on the internet, unzip the ROMs and drag it out. Right, I'm gonna be putting Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Fire Red into the calculator. However, once again, you won't be able to copy it as they are not TNS files. Once again, go ahead and rename them .tns and .tns. Once this is done, go back here, refresh, and as usual, copy Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Silver into the ROMs folder. <clears throat> if you have any questions or queries, go. To, uh, you can ask me in the comment section below. Other than that, that's all, and that's how to how to install an emulator onto your calculator. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.